What's up everyone, it's Mike from MyGadgetsWall and I'm back with another video and I'm gonna tell you about this video just in a bit. So first of all, I wanna say thank you so much guys for subscribing to my channel. I gained like a whole bunch of subscribers in just last four days and thank you so much for uh, giving that respect to my content and hitting that subscribe button. I wanna show you what's going on first here and then we'll get in the video. So right here, I've been testing, so my room looks disaster by the way it's usually very neat and clean like it's like this and everything is proper i have everything managed like i have the cable management and everything very proper but just because of xbox series x the playstation 5 and right there i have the gaming pc that i built recently with the uh, amd processor and i got the uh, founders edition see right here this is the samsung odyssey g7 there's another gaming monitor from lg um i've been just stuck with the lg oled c10 right here and the 8k tv which is kind of a little disappointment to buy one because none of these gaming consoles can do the uh, 8k output right now and this gaming pc i recently built so that i could do the 4k gaming at 120 fps and g4 rtx 3080 and this one is founders edition so i need a lot of cleanup right so i'm not gonna waste a lot of your time but i just want to request you guys if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do that because whatever you see in this room right here on the wall all the way to the down there maybe i'll move this so you can see everything is just self-financed i don't get to you know, receive the products from any company and say good things about them at all. So this channel is small right now, but you're the one who can make it big. So before any delay, let's just talk about the keyboard and mouse, right? I talked about like two minutes about that. I really apologize for that. Okay, so the keyboard and mouse, right? So this is what's happening. I'll tell you because it's already um, connected, but then I had to disconnect the keyboard. So this keyboard did not work. This is the Corsair k68 model and this right here is g903 from logitech it's a wireless mouse and this thing right here actually goes to the um i connected to my pc because i was doing the video editing but i'm gonna take it out so this right here is the uh connector usb type a connector for that transmitter wireless transmitter for the mouse so i'm gonna connect that to the uh, playstation right here at the back Okay, and I don't know if I should waste your time or not, but but I just I'm just telling you one thing. This keyboard right here, I plugged it into the PlayStation. Only one button was working, and that button is the control button right here. None of the other buttons were working, but the mouse was working. It it worked so super awesome. I played the Call of Duty, um, Cold War, and it was amazing. All right. But keyboard, so how are you gonna play the game when the mouse is working but the keyboard is not working, right? You gotta have keyboard and mouse both working. So this one came handy. I never knew that I'm gonna be using this keyboard. I just had an idea like, let's just try another keyboard and see if the other keyboard works. So I realized with these gaming keyboards, it actually has more stuff to do with it. like. Um, it has the RGBs. I don't know if it is getting enough power, what's going on, but this keyboard is not working. I saw another video from a guy on YouTube. He also said the similar thing that his keyboard didn't work. And I looked at his keyboard and I'm like, holy moly, guacamole. He is in the same situation as mine because his keyboard was gaming keyboard and had a lot of RGB stuff happening. Okay, so I'm gonna connect this keyboard. This is just a regular Dell keyboard. I had a computer about a couple of uh, years back. So it was just sitting, getting dust, but I'm like, let's try it. So I'm gonna try this right in front of you guys. I'm gonna move this one a little away. I hate doing this to my setup, but anything for you guys. I mean, it's, I just wanna make sure that you guys, you know, get all the information possible. An Astro controller, rest in peace. Can't use with PC anymore and can't use with the PlayStation 5. Well, if you invested like $250 in this one, bye-bye to the Astro C40. I mean, you guys stay on the channel. 
All right, I'm just cleaning up a little bit and I'm going to have to make some space. I'm doing it in real time because I just want to show you the struggle, the hustle, you know, that you have to, you don't have to do now because I'm telling you it's the keyboard that you can connect and everything's going to be fine. It's kind of vlog now, I guess, where I can show you how actually I do the life of a YouTuber. I'm going to upload this video unedited, to be honest. Literally tired of doing editing. I've been uploading for last, I think, five days. But I'm just showing you guys um, so that it's in the flow. All right, this connection for the keyboard will go here in the back. Okay, so connected the keyboard. And now it's asking uh, that who is using. So I'll have to click on my name just for privacy reason. I'm going to hide that. Okay, so you can see here that we have mouse connected and then we have the keyboard connected and also the controller connected. Okay, the funny thing is when the mouse is connected wirelessly, it shows like this. So these are the accessories, right? So I have to go there. So look at this. It says wireless controller, USB keyboard and USB keyboard. Actually, it is a mouse, but it says keyboard. Okay, if I were to connect this mouse directly with the wire, see what happens now. So I'm going to take off this uh, wireless transmitter and I'm plugging it right here. Let me set it up on the tripod, right? I, I just wanted to show you guys everything like how it is happening, but uh, I think you guys can see it from here. All right, I hope you guys can hear me when I go there. So I'm connecting this right here. By a wire and let's see what happens okay so now you can see that there's a mouse icon there so it, it is connected as a mouse now but before it was showing as keyboard there's no issue with that I actually don't like my mouse to be connected to the wire when I'm gaming I actually paid extra just for the you know the reason that I can get the fast performance with the wireless adapter and this one stays about like six to seven inches from the mouse and it's amazing. So I just want to go back and switch it to the, uh, you know, wireless transmitter mode so that you guys see that it, it, it works. Okay. So I'm going to take it off this right here, connect it back to the wireless transmitter. And you can see now the keyboard and keyboard is connected, right? So, I'm gonna go play Call of Duty, Cold War, and show you that keyboard and mouse is working. All right, guys, so I'm gonna use this controller to launch the Black Ops Cold War. All right, so to play with the keyboard and mouse, you have to start using your mouse and keyboard and you can click anywhere. So numlock is on, this is good. Okay, I wanna show you, if you go to multiplayer, you have to switch the uh, controller to keyboard and mouse. So right now in the, uh, the option for the controller, it, the input device is the controller. So you can switch it to keyboard and mouse. So now it's gonna be keyboard and mouse. And then from here, keyboard and mouse settings, you can adjust your key binds. I have already adjusted mine uh, the way I like them. These are the same as you will find on the PC. So this is amazing. All right, so now we're gonna go and uh, do a quick um, TDM or you know any game that we can play. But the good thing is you can see the keyboard is working. I'm using these keys right here and it's working. And mouse is working as well. I don't want to increase volume so much, but let's just keep it right here, maybe.
Hey guys, so let me know in the comment section what keyboard you tried to plug into the PlayStation 5, which one worked for you, which one did not work, and also the mouse, uh, which one did you use. So it's gonna help people a lot, like so they can buy uh, the keyboard mouse if they haven't bought any, so and they are intending to play on PlayStation 5 using keyboard and mouse. So guys, help the community out there, help everyone out there. Some of the stuff you don't find on the Google, so I try to make sure that help you out out there. If I'm experiencing something and I can find a solution, so why not share it with you guys? And in exchange, you guys, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, so I'm gonna use this gun right here is AK-47. And I hope you can see my hand right here. And I'm gonna show you that keyboard, mouse, everything is working the way it should be. And after I'm done with the PlayStation, I'll give it a try on the Xbox Series X. I don't have this game on the Xbox Series X, I have it on the PlayStation 5. Uh, but I'll see if I can buy um, for the Xbox Series X and give it a try. So just stay tuned for that and if you want to watch that video, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever there's a new video out there. So thank you so much guys for your help and support. And uh, let's go and see how's the game play. All right. Hard point. Seize the objectives. So see the keyboard mouse, the keyboard right here. You can move around, jump up. That's good. Hostiles have the hard point. Let's try to throw this down. <laughs> Okay, I was throwing a stun grenade. I don't know, I don't like this map as much. I'm gonna keep dying. So guys, if you are good with the keyboard and mouse, you're gonna be like you. You're not gonna be like me, don't worry. You're gonna do good. Come on. Oh! Whoa. Look at the accuracy with the keyboard mouse, guys. Like, it's just insane. Okay, a guy coming from there. I think they took care of him. Hard point located. It's not Oh, sniper. Well, so far so good, you know guys, this, this mouse and keyboard experience has been great. I have actually sweat hands, so this right here, I have a pedestal fan that I use to keep my keep sure, uh, making sure that my hands are dry, but I'm still trying to make sure I do a little good for you guys. So right now I'm at 4-4, four, four, 4 kills, 4 deaths. Oh, uh, he ran away. I was about to get the double kill, but guys, accuracy is on point when you use the keyboard and mouse. Mouse at least, I mean. This is Logitech G903 mouse. And uh, this mouse is just amazing, guys. I like to use this mouse with the PC because there's so many things you can do. Um, there are macros that you can do, but I mean, with the PlayStation, I mean, it is above expectation. Come on. I'm sure he's using a scope, right? I'm using no scope on my AK-47. Let's switch the loadout. Maybe change class and go back to XM4 after this. Somebody's coming, somebody's coming. All right, let's play with the other gun. Hard point locked down. Screw that one. Alright okay, guys, so I don't know if you want me to play it like this for like uh, an hour. Th this, this is good, this is working. So if you're good with the keyboard and mouse, make sure you go ahead and use the keyboard and mouse. And maybe add me on the uh, Activision so we can play together. So my Activision account is the same name, my gadgets world. 
and you can add me there and we can play together maybe someday. All right, guys, so that's it from this video. If you like it, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, peace out and stay safe.